Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. So, why in late 1990, 1990, excuse me, wait, late 2025, recording this in November 2025, why do I think in late November 2025 that the web stack is the most important stack to learn? No question about it. The reason it's the most important is because when it comes to where most of the apps live, they're going to live in on the web. They're going to live on the web, even for mobile. Even for mobile, I would say that most people would rather use a web app or PWA than install some native app. I, I am personally reluctant to install apps on my phone because whenever you install an app on your phone, especially in the Android space, you're introducing uh, risk, right? Because you're installing apps that have access to your device, to your hardware, uh, that they can't access uh, via web app. So uh, for me, and most apps, by the way, don't require uh, that full-blown access that a native app will give you. You don't require the speed and the hardware access. For most apps, the web is more than good enough. Another reason why I think the web is going to dominate is because you write once and it runs on all the platform. It runs on uh, Android, iOS, runs on uh, Android, iOS, it runs on Windows, it runs on Mac, it runs everywhere, it runs on your TV, you know? It is the way to go, it is the way to go is to, is to go web. So because you write one, one, one app and it runs everywhere, it saves you a lot of money and time, right? In terms of development. Some of the biggest companies in the world, they'll develop their mobile app using cross-platform technologies like React, uh, React Native, um, Flutter, uh, just PWAs or just simple web apps, simple web apps with local storage, you know. So that, yeah, that's why the main reason. So another reason why I think that it, it, the web stack is the best is because the most job opportunities, web-based application development, whether it be to simple branding websites, to WordPress sites, to web apps, to mobile development, this is done on small, medium, so, small, medium, and large size businesses. Whereas when you start getting into web apps and thick client, then you're talking about more established businesses, less opportunity there for sure. So there's just more job opportunity with the web technologies. And the last reason, of course, is AI. If you're going to deploy AI, it's going to be deployed most of the time via some sort of web app. So you're going to need some sort of web interface to deploy AI. Hmm. And I think the low-hanging fruit in terms of software development is an AI. Why? Because AI allows for a bunch of new use cases that can be uh, satisfied through AI, through chatbots and so forth. Something you could not do uh, otherwise. So, for example, I did something similar. I developed a fitness AI uh, called BratFit. And it's just a custom GPT, but I deliver it via a web app. I deliver it via a web app. So anyway, there you go. So if you're trying to decide what type of development to get into, I'd say web 100%. And uh, I'm not just saying this because I got my interactive web training course, links below. Um, but I would, 5.5 iOS development with Swift was the best overall. I would just put out an iOS, I would, if I wanted to sell more iOS courses, I would just put out an iOS course. But I teach what I think is the most relevant, allows for the maximum opportunity so for me today, again, web stack combined with AI first development, AI augmented development, whether you're doing um, traditional website, uh, PWAs, cross-platform solutions uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with React Native or something. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, the phone's ringing. All right. I hope this is useful. If you disagree with any of my commentaries, you're wrong. Okay. If you disagree, give me... An argument uh, as opposed to your hair is suck, Steph. Give me an argument that uh, that we can debate. Maybe you can change my mind. I'm open to changing my mind on things because let me tell you, uh, being a middle-aged man, I have learned over the years that uh, I, can, I can be wrong about things. I can be wrong about things. Now, as you get older and you get more experienced and the marbles in your brains are a bit more refined and polished, you make less mistakes. Uh, some of us do anyway. 
but uh, yeah, I, I, I recognize that I can make mistakes. So if you can correct me on things, I, I'm really open to it. Some of my best content, by the way, has been derived from comments under my videos. So I invite you to comment under my video. Cheers. My only vice is coffee. I don't, uh, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do any hard drugs, no steroids for me, but coffee. It's the, you know, it's, if you're going to get addicted to anything, I think coffee is probably your best bet.